So as we all know, the only two animals capable of carrying up to 20 times their body weight are beans. And a lesser no answer? Ants. I don't know if you guys like ants, but I certainly do not. I wasn't scared of other insects or creepy crawlies, which is why I make a distinction that I was terrified of ants. This could be due to the fact that I always hid food in my room, and so I always had some level of ant infestation going on. Or it could be due to some supernatural attribute of ants which we have yet to discover. Uh, I'm a proponent of not punishing things for the crime of being small, but I think there are exceptions to every rule, and I think that ants are the exceptions to that one. Their bloodlust, their passion, and their indomitable spirit keep me awake at night in a cold sweat. Even scientists consider ants to be ecologically dominant. That is such a bitchin' phrase, ecologically dominant. There is 11,000 species classified by taxonomists, and about 20,000 estimated to exist in total. And did you know that squishing ants can actually create pheromones that bring more ants to your location to come fuck your shit up? I will warn you, my own fear and wariness of ants was only deepened and solidified by the knowledge that I will be sharing with you today. And that is that ants have globally for so much longer than humans have even been on Earth been engaged in a war, and not just a war, a bloody war. Not only do these ants engage in literal wars, but the way that they do it has me pulling my feet underneath the blankie and squealing for, in terror. My first thought when I heard about ants uh, committing war crimes and being engaged in war is wouldn't that create a sort of super soldier ant that uh, has all of the attributes that are given to it by evolution to be the perfect ant soldier, super soldier? And the answer is yes, it fucking did. It exists. Look at this dude, he's fueled by nothing but breadcrumbs and ant racism. But first, let me talk about the ants that you probably think of when I say ants. Uh, Argentine ants are literally on every single continent, except for Antarctica, and every ant species they encounter, they absolutely bulldoze through, taking prisoners, uh, taking, taking hostages, they're native to northern Argentina, but invasive everywhere else, and not only do they engage in literal war, but the way that they do it has me pulling my feet into the blanket at night and scrunching up underneath the covers in fear. Army ants especially, which are the ones that fit the bill of the super soldier ants, they gather together, and instead of uh, sending out like a single forager ant like most other ant species, what they do is they send out massive fleets of soldiers to overwhelm their prey. They will literally de dismember their prey. Originally, ecologists believe that they evolved due to convergent evolution, but no. The trait that causes them to be classified as an army ant is so built different that they, they have just been keeping this trait in a sort of evolutionary stasis which isn't normal, by the way, for like a really long time. They're chill with each other though, like interestingly enough, which makes sense because their whole strategy is to stick together and use teamwork to overwhelm them, Emery, Emery's enemies, to overwhelm their enemies. And this is their tried and true war tactic that has led us to the point of sharing our earth with these super soldier ants today. They will straight up tear through wasp nests, fucking wasp nests even more bitchin than the super soldier ants un like underneath the category of those there are ants that literally will eat the babies the larvae of other ant species what on earth that's terrifying that's are you scared i'm fucking scared usually the wars that these ants are fighting are over similar issues that cause human wars like territory resources do you understand how built different ant army ants are though. If you see this outside your front door, it's over for you and your ant friends. Run. Look into the beady little eyes of this fucker and tell me that these are not the eyes of a stone cold killer. How close do you think we are to the ant apocalypse? And when the ant forces come to your door, will you be ready? Remember to keep yourself strapped with oregano and mint and hold your crumbs tight tonight. Goodbye shorties.